Hi guys, it's me Jimmy again. So the question is that is MTA a word or is MTA better than Compia A plus? Basically, MTA is a Microsoft certification that is cheaper. But the question is that is MTA basically worth getting it? I mean, what is the value of MTA compared to basically Compia A plus? So basically, before I start giving my opinion, I wanna show you what MTA is and then what is Microsoft certification and then what kind of MTA you can get in what kind of basically domain so now let's move to the screen i have just included this basically link in the description box below make sure you check it let's get started basically mta stands for microsoft technology associate and then you can read what is mta mta is industry microsoft certification for individual considering a career in technology basically it's an entry certificate in it when i come into it you go to mta that I'm not saying that you want to get into what to get MTA. That is what Microsoft is saying. Remember this thing again. Basically, you can say technical concept, validate your code, technical knowledge, all the blah, 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 and then make sure you read this one. Note, MTA does not qualify for the MCP. MC certification has been already expired. Basically, you can't get in your MCP right now. You can just get MCSE or A or MCSD. Basically, now, Basically, you can get an MTA in three domain, IT infrastructure, database developer. In developer, for example, you just pass one of this exam and then you can get the MTA. Basically, the exam costs you around 115 US dollar, but in Hong Kong, it's very cheap. I made only course around 500 or 600 bucks, which is less than 70, 80 US dollar. It depends on the country location. I mean, if we are in the United States, you want to get an MTA certificate it will cost you 115 us dollar so basically i mean if you want to get an mta and developer i mean you can just choose one of the title and study for for example web developer web development fundamental this mta is really good i mean for a web developer guy basically now let me show basically we are going to compare mta with a plus so so basically i mean you can see all this you can programming all that but this is not the point of the video. The point of the video basically is IT infrastructure. I mean, in database, when you can get, let's move to the basic. The real IT infrastructure or the CompTIA A plus basically copycat, I will easily say. I don't know why the hell Microsoft have built MTA. Basically, Microsoft is already is a partner of CompTIA. Microsoft is already contributing in CompTIA A plus certification. Then I don't know why the hell they did anyways. Window operating system fundamental one exam, okay. Window server administrator fundamental. This is something what I mean. Still, I will not look at network fundamental. Let me look at the window operating system fundamental. What the hell you will learn? Loading, 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 loading. Okay, basically, yeah. Basically, this if you get an MTA basically in window operating system fundamentals you will learn this kind of thing understand operating system configuration let's see it doesn't go into the detail again okay 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 blah 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 again it doesn't go into a deal okay okay blah 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 basically I mean this basically only this is a 10% what you will learn in CompTIA A plus now let me show you the network I mean even the CompTIA A plus certificate cover the 801 cover 20% of the basic networking. I want to compare, I mean, what it looked like in the MTA networking world. Understanding network infrastructure. To be honest with you, this is even 2%, basically, I would say 5% of what CompTIA A plus networking domain is covering. Basically, I mean, now let's go to CompTIA A plus. CompTIA A plus uh, basically CompTIA A plus have two exam. I mean, per exam it costs you $196. I mean, basically it costs you how much? Let me times. Basically, it costs you on $390 US dollar to pass the CompTIA A plus exam. A01. The first exam is basically hardware. The second exam is basically the software. Ob objectives. Let me show you PDF and then first. I want to show you the objective. I mean, I want to make sure that you can compare it. Yeah, it's already open. Basically, I mean, basically, you can see 
you need to pass for example you want to get mta mta basically you need to eat individual exam basically this all are the things for i mean already covered in computer if you go with the mta basically you want to have a sufficient knowledge of computer a plus basically i mean you need to at least take all these four exams so 115 times 4 460 dollar so at the end of the computer chief computer have only two exams this is the 801 basically i mean PC hardware repair, PC repair, I mean configuring, installing, networking, I know it's 27% laptop printer, basically this MTA does not even cover laptop and printer, okay, I mean, basically, I mean, you can see here, uh, let me go to, I think, objective, A02 is the second exam. Basically, a second exam the operating system security, mobile device troubleshooting, even does not cover troubleshooting. I mean, so basically, you, if you want to compare the MTA single exam, basically, even it does not cover 2% of the computer A plus. If you want to get the all four exam and then you want to compare, I will say 10 to 20%, it's what computer A plus is already offering. Now, let's move to me. Basically, I have just shown you that MTA, I mean, basically, MTA really does not go into that. Nobody care MTA because MTA, the knowledge they're teaching is very, very introduction. Basically, the basically MTA is not really basically what the knowledge they're teaching in MTA is very, very basically introductionary. I mean, they just your basic, 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 bare mental basic. I mean, of to uh, operating system of networking. I mean, just go with a computer A plus. Plus, there is a major point why you should never go with MTA. Recognize nobody even recognize MTA is basically a new certification for Microsoft. Basically, nobody even recognize MTA for last 20 years. Everybody know. Even you go to Zimbabwe, Korea, Africa, even you go to Pakistan, everybody know MTA, MTA, A plus, MTA, A plus. One of the famous certification. I mean, sometimes like like even like the M MCSE is so famous that still people call MCSE stand for Microsoft Certified System Engineer rather than Microsoft Certified Solution Expert. Microsoft had already changed the name to Solution Expert rather than System Engineer. But still, if you see the job posting, they will always list Microsoft Certified System Engineer. If you ever, I mean, just Google it. I mean, from whichever country you are, just Google it and then type IT support computer technician job. They will always say come TI plus. I never ever 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 come across MTA listing in that job. Or I mean just go to any job website, just type MTA in the search box and then see how many jobs are available which are including a keyword called MTA. Basically, no one. No one basically I can say with confidence enough confident that no one who just type A plus or Comptia, there will be hundreds of jobs they are using a keyword Comptia because Comptia have a world recognition. So I mean just I will say do not go with MT, MT is more expensive if you calculate the overall cost basically you need to take the 4 I mean for certification basically you can get 4 MT certification that's one thing but to have enough knowledge I mean to get a job you know to take a 4 MT uh, operating system networking all that I mean a server or that blah 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 it's better you go with a computer A plus I will say computer A plus yeah MTA, a plus, MTA is not worth overall. First thing, it, it is more expensive. Second thing, it does not teach you anything practical. It's only teach you really bare mental. I mean, only introductionary. I mean, third thing is the recognition. Nobody recognizes MTA. Basically, if you talk to any IT reporter, ask them to do they know MTA. Just ask the MTA A plus. They know it. I mean, sometimes we need to go what the HR people like. I mean, nobody know MTA. I, I, I will say Microsoft really have to change the MTA certification track. I mean, they have to basically group into one MTA certification track. They basically make four MTA basically for the IT infrastructure. I mean, they just make a one exam and then make subdomain in that one. I mean, and then try to provide some good material. And the, the third thing, the fourth thing is the training. I mean, for MTA, I think you even cannot buy a single book from Amazon. Even there is no, I mean, nothing training available like on lynda.com, CBD, like for MTA plus there is a Professor makes a free video. You can buy hundreds of MTA A plus book sample question. I mean, for MTA, basically, there's no training. Only I don't know Microsoft is offering or not. Basically, basically, there's no training on basically on the video lecture on YouTube or in the Amazon. I mean, stay away from MTA. Just go with MTA A plus. I hope this answers the question. Subscribe to my channel. It's me, Jimmy Agi. Bye bye.